Can a fellow drink in peace? Griswold? Good old Griswold. I sense a soul in search of answers. To a man who only knows iron, there is no greater magic than steel. The Butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. Oh, what can I do for you? Oh, Gillian is a nice lass. Shame that her gamma is in such poor health. Or I would arrange to get both of them out of here on one of the train caravans.
your death will be avenged.
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Too much baggage. Too much baggage.
too much baggage. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. While you are venturing deeper into the labyrinth, you may find tomes of great knowledge hidden there. Read them carefully, for they can tell you things that even I cannot. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. What ails you, my friend? Poor Wirt. I did all that was possible for the child but I know he despises that wooden peg that I was forced to attach to his leg. His wounds were hideous. No one, and especially such a young child, should have to suffer the way he did. By the light I know of this vile demon, there were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen.
Well, what can I do for you? Oh, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend?
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Too much baggage.
fresh meat. Too much baggage. Oh, what can I do for you? A good man who puts the needs of others above his own. You won't find anyone left in Tristram, or anyone else for that matter, who has a bad thing to say about the healer.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. The witch, Adria, is an anomaly here in Tristram. She arrived shortly after the cathedral was desecrated, while most everyone else was fleeing. She had a small hut constructed at the edge of town, seemingly overnight, and has access to many strange and arcane artifacts and tomes of knowledge that even I have never seen before. The village needs your help, good master. Some months ago, King Leoric's son, Prince Albert, was kidnapped. The king went into a rage and scoured the village for his missing child. With each passing day, Leoric seemed to slip deeper into madness. He sought to blame innocent townsfolk for the boy's disappearance and had them brutally executed. Less than half of us survived his insanity. The king's knights and priests tried to placate him, but he turned against them and, sadly, they were forced to kill him. With his dying breath, the king called down a terrible curse upon his former followers. He vowed that they would serve him in darkness forever. This is where things take an even darker twist than I thought possible. Our former king has risen from his eternal sleep and now commands a legion of undead minions within the labyrinth. His body was buried in a tomb three levels beneath the cathedral. Please, good master, put his soul at ease by destroying his now cursed form. The village needs your help, good master. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Griswold the blacksmith is extremely knowledgeable about weapons and armor. If you ever need work done on your gear, he is definitely the man to see. Good day. How may I serve you? My grandmother had a dream that you would come and talk to me. She has visions, you know, and can see into the future. I don't like to think about how the king died. I like to remember him for the kind and just ruler that he was. His death was so sad and seemed very wrong somehow. Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? A good man who puts the needs of others above his own! 
I made many of the weapons and most of the armor that King Leoric used to outfit his knights. I even crafted a huge two-handed sword of the finest mithril for him, as well as a field crown to match. I still can't believe how he died, but it must have been some sinister force that drove him insane. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. The witch, Adria, is an anomaly here in Tristram. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of Leoric was a harsh blow to this land. The people always loved the king, and now they live in mortal fear of him. The question that I keep asking myself is how he could have fallen so far from the light as Leoric had always been the holiest of men. Only the vilest powers of hell could so utterly destroy a man from within. What ails you, my friend? While I use some limited forms of magic to create the potions and elixirs I store here, Adria is a true sorceress. She never seems to sleep, and she always has access to many mystic tomes and artifacts. I believe her hut may be much more than the hovel it appears to be, but I can never seem to get inside the place. The loss of his son was too much for King Leoric. I did what I could to ease his madness, but in the end, it overcame him. A black curse has hung over this kingdom from that day forward. But perhaps, if you were to free his spirit from his earthly prison, the curse would be lifted. Tender fellow drinking peace? Why don't that old crone do something for a change? Sure, sure, she's got stuff. Will you listen to me? She's unnatural. I ain't never seen her eat or drink. And you can't trust somebody who doesn't drink at least a little. I don't care about that. Listen. No skeleton is going to be my king. Leoric is king. King! So you hear me? Hail to the king!